like this one. People are now starting to store emojis in our comments fields in our application. When we're trying to append that data to clubs uh, with such characters in it, we encounter errors about partial characters. And this is a common one, especially when you're doing DBMS lob write append. And if you've ever looked at DBMS lob, most of the routines, whether you're getting some data out, adding some data, replacing data, effectively they take obviously a parameter of an incoming lob, maybe an outcoming lob, um, some buffer information that you want to get back or put in. And the key one you put in is a length parameter. How many bytes or characters do I want to append, replace, substitute, etc.? And that's where this person's having some problems. They were, in this particular case, it was DBMS lob write append, and they're trying to add an emoji in there, just a single emoji character, and the database is complaining. So let's see why. Now, the first thing you'll notice is because I'm running a Windows machine here and it's running just stock standard, I think, Consalus font in MS-DOS, uh, I try to print out the emoji. That's the Unicode for emoji, and you don't get it. Um, now, I could use, I could change my DOS to have a different code page, etc. But just to let you know that that is indeed the emoji, let me uh, do a new share again. <laughs> so hopefully you believe me that, yes, that is indeed the emoji. You can see a little smiley face there. Now, here's where this uh, customer was getting into grief. They do select length effectively of an emoji character and they get length as one. That makes sense. You saw the emoji, it's this little smiley face. It's length is one, it's one character, length is one. If you try write an emoji character into a club, uh, like with DBMS lob write a pen, for example, and specify the length of one, I didn't put it here, I should have, uh, you get an error. It says you've specified a partial multibyte character. You might be thinking, ah, well, I can see here it's one, two, three, it's four bytes. Maybe I should pass a length of four. If you do that, you'll get an error as well. Let's explore why. If I do DBMS lob get length on that particular club, it says the length is two. And if you pass in two as a parameter to write append, I want to write a single emoji. What, what do I pass in as the amount? I should pass in two and then it will work. The question is why? And uh, immediately, this becomes a recommendation for me. You should always use dbmslog.getLength if you're writing, trying to work out the length of a club. This is probably the easiest way of explaining it. Here's my smiley. I've just called it smiley, the emoji smiley. dbmslog.getLength returns me two. Length re returns me one. Length in characters, length C, returns me one. Length bytes returns me four. Length two returns two, and length four returns one. These are pretty much the critical ones in this particular case. And it very much depends on your database character set. This is a multi-byte character set. My database is multi-byte. It's the default, which is AL32 UTF-8. In a multi-byte database, a multi-byte character set database, what happens is clobs and blobs are stored in what we call UCS2 format. They're fed to be multiples of two-byte pairings. What that means is the emoji, which is this, requires two sets of UCS2 values to be stored which is why dbms log returns it as two, which is why when you're using it in dbms log .write append, et cetera, you want to specify two, not one and not four. So because this is a multi-byte character set uh, using UCS uh, AL32 UTF-8, which means the clubs are in UCS2, we would use the length two function. Rather than having to have all that twist around in your head, generally dbms log .get length when you're looking for clubs is going to be the way to go. And as the documentation says, it says whenever you're using the amount figure to um, add, remove, subtract, manipulate lobs, it says for lobs, for, for blobs, it's the amount of bytes, and for clobs, it's the amount of characters. But we need to understand what those characters are. So hopefully that explains that nice simple question.